um, then the, the challenge is, is that now you need to continue to work through those other chapters, at least, one, you know, once again, at least work through to chapter 25 over the summer. And then when we start quarter, um, uh, the, the first part of the second year um, in September, and we start into Hebrew uh, uh, one, uh, 201, um, we can, we'll be reviewing a lot of this because we'll start reading the Bible and we'll be reviewing it using, as I said, Mansour Volume 2. And we'll be going over and reviewing things that we've already learned. Um, and we will also um, get into the details when necessary of the things that go beyond Chapter 25 in Mansour Number 1. So take heart. Just try to do this. Try to keep up. There's a great reward in, in, in laboring through this, Okay. So tonight I want to go over with you these prepositions and kind of focus just really on translation with you tonight uh, more than anything else. And so uh, the first word here is im, is with, uh, being with someone or somebody. Um, akari, uh, uh, which you're going to use that word over and again. And uh, you say you could give a little bit more wind, but, but akari and uh, etzel, Akari is after um, itzel, by near, or, or um, on the side of, uh, bain, which is between or among, um, then mul, which is opposite of, of uh, opposite mul, lifni, or lifne, uh, which is in front of, before, um, pene, it comes from pene in the front or face, to be, to be before, in front of someone. Al, which is on or upon, men from, tachat under, um, bali, without, uh, a negative word that is constantly, you'll constantly see that appearing, odd until, or as far as, it doesn't show as far as here, but odd, which is odd until, and then um, kimo, like or as. Now, some of these words um, are reduced, and then they become, actually, they will become uh, prefixes. You'll get rid, they won't be pre uh, prepositions anymore, but they become prefixes. You get rid of the, you get rid of the preposition with the megif. Most of these, uh, uh, a lot of these come with a megif. Takat doesn't usually, akari or itzel, bin, mul, but im, um, al, especially min and um, Kimu, Kimo rather. So you can see Kimo is actually reduced to just K. K. Um, and then uh, um, Al is reduced to Le. Uh, Min is reduced to Me or Me. And these are your most common prepositions that serve as prefixes. And so we're going to talk a little bit about them. And some of the things we're going to talk about really isn't about anything other than helping you uh, understand the change in spelling, but um, you also got to be very, very careful in terms of translation of knowing whether or not, uh, and this, if you've already read this lecture, of knowing whether or not it's a schwa, which sometimes gets reduced to a herrick, and then when it gets, re or, or, and when it gets um, not reduced but increases to a pata, you know, it's building more and more within sight of that word, okay? And, and we'll talk about that. So that's important for translation. So let's kind of move on up here. We can start doing some translation and get, get a feel for this. So kimumayim is like water, and you're going to see it. It could be actually ki megif mayim, but I'm not showing that right now. And then it's going to ultimately be, uh, it's actually going to be joined as a prefix and then a number of different things will happen. When it's joined as a prefix, you drop the mem and the uh, um, holam vav, and um, depending on what the first vowel is of the first consonant, we'll have changes. Sometimes, usually one of the first one is it going to a herrick. But let me just go through this. Kimo, mayim, and uh, mayim, and of course you know mayim already. Kimo is a, no, uh, kimo is a new word for you, like water. Etzel habayit, near to the house. Akari hamabul, after the flood. And there, you know, 
you know, keeping up, of course, with the definite article. You guys already got that, I'm sure. Lifnei um, Hamelach before the king. Im Habat with the daughter. Bali Mayim without water. So, Bin Haatsim between the trees. Are among the trees, bean or bain, um, ha atzim, then ad haboker until the morning, ad haboker until the morning, el hanachal, el hanachal to the river, el hanachal, tachat habayat under the house. Okay, let's go on up here now, and let's take those, and let's reduce some of the prefixes now from the preposition to prefixes, and what we're going to see is we're going to see the schwa there to start with, okay? So, leom, once again, it's, now that's the abbreviated form of el yom, okay? Leom, to a day. Um, Belayla, in a night. Uh, Leosef, to Joseph. Keish. Like a man. Beshana, uh, in a year. Beshana, in a year. Ke Moshe, like Moses. Ke Moshe, like Moses. Moshe. Okay, next. Trying to get through these so I can spend a lot of time on the, on the translation. Very important point. Uh, since no word in Hebrew may begin with two schwas, anytime you ever set that up, You've got to get. You've got to have some rule because uh, you can't have two schwas in your spelling. The first two is changed. Uh, the first of the two is changed to a herek. Uh, uh, For example, with blessing is written bevracha. It's not like this. Not bevracha, but bevracha. Okay. This would say if you try to pronounce that, that would be beve, beve. You can't do that, okay? Bev, the syllable, right? So it makes sense, doesn't it? Okay? Uh, then you'll see that here, uh, you'll see, you know, and try to describe it, um, where that the Lamed Shwa goes to Lamed Herak, Be Shwa goes to Be Herak, uh, uh, Kaf shwa, uh, shwa goes to Kaf Herak. Okay? So, here, here we here we go. Um, uh, Lebayet, or say Bayet rather, goes to Lebayet, um, and it's a rule on the Dagish. And I'm not going to get into that right now. Delet goes to Kedelet. Pretty simple, okay? As far as just as far as pronunciation, and I think um, translation. As far as spelling and the rules of why your vowels change, well, that's a little bit more complicated. We can defer that. We can learn more about that later. That's why I'm rushing past it. Um, so here we go. Uh, Hasus, the horse. Now we're going to, and this is really important translation. When we bring in the prefix, what we're going to do is we're going to build in the definite article into the prefix. So now we're combining the prefix, definite article, we're really abbreviating and we're going la sus to the horse, not just to a horse. If it was just a schwa or a herrick, it'd be to a horse. Now it's to the. And so it's just it's that simple. When you see a pata or in some cases a gamut underneath it, you know that it's including the definite article. Otherwise, it's simply a, okay? So um, ha'av, the father, ka'av. Like the father. Ha'erev, the evening. Ba'erev, in the evening. Okay? So now here's uh, it's a good practice exercise just to make sure that you really understand this. Besefer tov, it's just simply in a good book. Basefer ha'tov, well, it's now in the good book. Okay? So we go, okay? Then um, kivracha gadola, kivracha gadola, 
Kivracha Gadola. Like a great blessing. Now, bring in the pata. We know we've got a definite article. So now it's Kav. And here we've got a, a dagish, which is in a begish de kepet. And you then say, well, am I supposed to pronounce that twice or just pronounce it like a bay? Sometimes it's both. Keb bracha or keb kebracha. And it's actually kebracha. So it's just a little bit longer B. Hagodala, like the great blessing. Right? Okay? I think we've gone over that enough so you kind of get the, you know, if you do it literally, it's like the blessing, the great. Well, you should be able to discern the same thing. Okay? Distinguish carefully between Leviat to a house and Leviat. Because that's the whole point of this lesson. It's just really to under, be able to understand what happened when you brought the prefixes in. I mean, it was so simple, I almost just said, let's just let this one go, and I'll just jump to the next chapter. Um, but at the same time, there's a lot of value here, just getting it established. It's pretty simple, so it shouldn't be hard for you to memorize, just to understand. When you see that pata, you got a definite article there with the preposition. That's the big deal, okay? Um, a kiish, like a man, kaish, like the man. Okay, biblical vocabulary, um, direct the way, live, heart, call, voice, rush, head, shava, seven, shiv, shiv, ah, she, shiva, shiva, she, shiva, and shiva, shiva, okay, shiv, shiva, which would come Shabbat from that, shiva. Okay, move it on up. Let's start doing some translation. This is really what I want you to get good at and spend time with. And when you start doing a translation, the first and foremost thing that I want you to do is you have to do this. You've got to parse it. You've got to just, just as much as you've been devoted to doing transliteration, you've got to be devoted to parsing it. And I've been kind of just being lazy with it because I didn't want to put too much on you, but now I'm going to put this on you. And so what you do is you look at this word, and the first thing you're going to do is you're going to say, what is my three consonant root of that verb? And you know, because you've got your vocabulary down, it's he, lam, and cha, okay? And then you know that that shuruch at the end of it makes it a third person, plural, common, either masculine or feminine, right? So that's the first thing, that's what you do. I just parsed it. I just parsed it. So now I know it's... Um, and so I know we're dealing with a plural. Um, I know we're dealing with a third person. So it's they walked, right? They walked. And then we got to go with this next one. Okay, let's break this next one out. Let's parse it. Okay, let's understand that this comes from ish. It's hard to see the ish. And, but you learned a new word for men. Nashi, uh, uh, nasha. Uh, nosh, neosh. Or anosh. Okay, and so we see anosh there. Okay, so we pull out the anosh from, from the ish, and now we got the definite article and we got the plural form. So the men walked. So not they walked the men, right? The men walked, and now we got a phrase that we learned last time. And so we've got to be careful with it. And now this is the long version of what we've learned of, of the preposition. Not a prefix, but we've learned the prefix. So it's L, and then we've got Hikramim Ha'ele. So we know that this is a plural form. This is these, and so we know that it's uh, to, or this, to, this, uh, Kiram. If you don't know what Kiram is, you could say, well, you could say, well, these, the, uh, the men walk to, uh, this kiram. The men walk to this vineyard. Okay? You got it? Okay. Did I translate it right? Oh, you, nobody has a... No one has a... Okay, I did. 
I'm pretty sure. Okay. Sometimes I, I, I skip over plurals or I add something, you know, miss a definite article or something. But now let's just do the same thing here. Now, yatsa, yod, tzade, aleph. That's our three consonant root. A gamut and a hey makes it feminine. We know that. And we know then it's third person feminine. Okay? So it's a third person uh, feminine. It's a singular third person feminine attached to yatsa, which is to go out. So we could say she went out. And then we're going to find out what she went out. Uh, aha. Para. Oh, what's a para? Okay? Because that's just a definite article with the word. She went out. Para is cow. So the cow went out. Um, hazot, the feminine form of this. So we get it. This cow went out from ha sha'ar hakatan. Okay? So min hasakar hakatan. And so min, we know, is from hasar, hasar is the, is the gate, hakatan, the little. So we know that the cow went, this cow went out from the little gate. Right? That's correct. Okay. We're going to do the same thing again, halach. And here we have the three consonant word, and we're going, oh, my goodness, we don't have any challenges here. So, but what do we know about halach? As the perfect form, we know that it's a cow perfect, and I should have said that about these others. It's a cow perfect, and that it's the third person masculine singular. Now I parsed it. Third person, cow perfect, third person masculine singular. And we should always parse in that order, okay? And so I should properly say, he walked, not just walk. He walked. Because it's perfect, right? It's not he's walking or he will walk. It's he walked Jesus. Okay? He walked the horse. Important in translation, not the horse walked. And what I should do is I should break it down and say this is what it would look like if, we were gonna, if it was the horse walked. But I think you're getting it. Halak Jesus Akari, we just learned that one. Akari, hakaliv hasachor, and so we've got hakaliv hasachor. We've got, those are two words from the past. The black dog. So he walked the horse after, or we would say the horse walked, right? Not a, another person because another person's not designated. So hasus, he walked. It's a it's a horse. The horse walked after the black dog. Yeah, so I got all the definite articles. The horse walked after the black dog. That's not too bad, eh? You're doing good. Ahmad, what are we at? Perfect. Third person, masculine singular. He stood. Ahmad. Just to stand, right? Ahmad Habin. He stood, or the boy stood. And we got habin ha katan. So we know we've got to bring those together, right? So the little boy stood lifne in front of, because we've just learned that one, ha anoshim. We've already had ha anoshim from uh, anosh. Ha um, ha anoshim ke melech. Now we're utilizing our prefix, right? Um, and uh, it doesn't have the definite article, okay? So it's as a or like a uh, gadol. So what we see here is that uh, the son, I said boy, didn't I? Sorry. I do that a lot. The, 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 the little son or the small son stood in front of the men like a great king. Any surprises there? It's pretty simple. Everything just flowed. No big surprises shouldn't be. Right? Like a great king. Ad, ad, okay, so the adjective always got to come after the noun, and we know what to do with it. 
or if we just said uh, he stood the sun let's just break it down like this because you get it the same way he stood the sun the small that's tough he stood the sun the small but you already know how to move that around so that isn't very confusing to you in front of or to the front of rather not in front of or be to the front of or before because that's what we're doing before okay to the front of or before the men as king great or like king great like a like like king a great or like a king great like a great king forgive me like a king great okay okay number five let's get easier halach there we go again he walked third person perfect third person masculine singular okay Hab, habin he walked or the son walked im which would new new word i think in a vocabulary with haish really simple the man hazakim haish hazakim goes together as a phrase the old man el ha sha'ar and it's sha'ar let me get my country accent out of there okay so the son walked with the man the son walked with the old man to the sha'ar if you didn't know what sha'ar is you just say sha'ar but you know what it is gate okay so the son walked with the man the old man to the gate get just get good at this and 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 keep practicing and, and you'll get confidence yeshav let's break it out uh this is yeshav is the three consonant uh verb and um it's in the cal perfect form and it has the uh, second person masculine plural ending okay and so we just we parsed it so we know you yashabd okay if you didn't know what yashab was you'd say well you sh you plural yashabd okay which is to set they set okay so you set okay um under the ch under and then we got uh tahat uh, under ha'etz haze okay so these two these two are, are a phrase together so you sat under the this tree or you dwelt under the tree probably you sets better okay unless they're living there right dwell they're living there you shove they're sitting there okay here we go halku halku thank you for blowing that up so halku once again the three consonant um, root is halak with the um, shurik makes it a third person uh, common plural and then uh, uh, ha Anashim, the men again, okay. Anush, okay. So we got the plural, we understand the plural. The men walked in that phrase, but we've got a, a phrase here that's pretty long because we got ha Anashim hazakanim. And then we pull out here, let's pull that out. The three consonant root is uh, uh, zakan and um we know that that is old okay so the old men walked ad ha'ar hagadol okay as far as the great mountain or you could say unto or until the they walked until the great mountain well that's until what do you mean they walked as far as or they walked right up to the great mountain okay um, and you know what I if for some of you that are looking at the keys I found I, I went over this I found mistakes in the keys so if I'm translating something for you and you go oh that's not what the key says I'm right okay because this is too easy if I wasn't right just somebody else take the pointer okay um, 
Amdo, um, which is back to the, the word Ahmad. We've had it a couple of times now, to stand or stood. And this particular Ahmad with the, is a cow perfect. So um, it's something that's already been completed. It's an action that's completed. Once again, it's got that third person common, plural. So now we have parsed it out. So, um, uh, so it's Amdo, Amdu, forgive me, Amdu Hasusin. Um, so the, the, the horses stu, stood mul opposite habayat haze. So here's a phrase, opposite this house. Okay? Um, then here we go. Uh, we're getting a lot of halak here. So we parse this a number of times. So every one of you sitting at home watching this or wherever you're at, you should be able to parse that without me having to say it. Uh, but it's a perfect, and it is a um, uh, third-person plural common. And so it's halchu bin ha'etzin. We pull out the word, uh, the root word here, which is a two-consonant word, etz for trees, right? Ha'ele. Um, so we see a phrase there once again. Ha'etzim ha'ele, okay? So, uh, they walked between or among these trees. Ve'sachru, ve'sachru, let's pull out the three consonant root, is zakar, zayn kafresh, and it is a Cal perfect. It's got a vav uh, uh, in front of it, and um, it's not a conversive. Uh, and so we know with the shuruk at the end that once again it's a cal perfect third person mask, third person uh, common. Okay, so it's besachru, besach, besachru, yamim tovin. A phrase there. Amim tovim. Okay, that's a phrase. We know that because look at it. The, the noun has to match with, it, with the adjective, right? So here's what it says. Okay, it says, They walked among these trees and remembered the good days. Okay? So you break it out. They walked among or between the trees, these trees, right? Ha'ele. These trees. It's plural. They walked among these trees, and rem they walked among these trees. Kind of weird. Should have been. Hot. They walk among the trees. I just want you to practice. They walk among these trees, and zakar, which is remember, and they remembered, right? Because it's plural, right? And they remembered the good days. Okay, that's good. Okay, next. How much more do I have? Okay, good. We're gonna get there. How much time do I have? 15? 16? Okay, good. So, you did the first ones. These are even easier, right? So, kara, cal perfect, third person masculine singular. Uh, could be kara, he called. Um, uh, and, and it could be um, I've always translated kara, call, but it could be um, spoke and it could be and sometimes wrote. So it's it's so um, kara call or spoke. Forgive me, uh, I'm just blanking on it. Besefer haze. So he so he spoke this book or he wrote this book or ah oh, kara he read. So call and and kara. Kara can be call, and it can be read. He read this book. And sometimes you just remember it by putting the words together, right? It's a puzzle, right? So we've got this, this book. This, oh, he read this in the book. Or, oh, right, I am most messed up. Basefer, there, there's a pata, in the. So he read this in the book. Okay? Sorry, it took a little while. Uh, Natan Elohim Isha Adam. 
the Adam. Sometimes I'm actually better when I kind of do it like that, and I'm staring at it, breaking it down. I get all lost, too. So, Natan, Cal, perfect third person masculine. Singular, he gave. Okay? Elohim, God. So we know it's God that gave. And then we got uh, Isha, just a word, uh, that uh, a noun woman for woman. La Adama, which is la, uh, so uh, that la would be to the because it includes a definite article. Simply, God gave a woman to the, to Adam, or God gave a wife to Adam, because Isha could be wife as well. Okay, here we go. Halach once again, third person masculine singular. Cal perfect third person masculine singer singular. El Megif Habayit. Okay, the long form. El Habayit. El Megeth Habayit. You'll still see that in biblical Hebrew over and again instead of conjugating it and making the prefix. Halak El Habayit Hayofe Haze. So we see a phrase there, right? It's all tied together with that definite article. The ha ha ha. Ha 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 ha. Okay. So El Habayit Hayofe Haze. So just simple. This He walked to this beautiful house. Okay. Uh, katab, katab is right. It's to write. Uh, katab, katab ti. Okay, this is a cow perfect first person masculine singular. Okay, I wrote. Right, because it's complete. Katab ti. You've been practicing the t's. Ahab ti. I love you. Katab ti. In this particular instance, I wrote. Okay. Katab ti il hamela. He wrote to the king. Or forgive me, I wrote to the king. Pretty simple. Okay, halachnu. Okay, cal uh, perfect. First and foremost, what you want to do, and this is a uh, first person common plural, halachnu. So we walked somewhere already. We walked el ha'ir, the city hazot. So you see el ha'ir hazot. It's a phrase. See that? El ha'ir hazot. Because of the definite article. Somebody said, I don't see that. The definite article kind of ties it together as a phrase. You've been learning that, okay? So, halachnu el ha'ir hazot. We walked to this city. Okay? Lamadta. Now, cal, perfect. Um... And if you didn't really know that it was a mask, a sec, uh, if you didn't know that it was a masculine, a second person, uh, masculine singular, you could kind of get a hint from looking at the rest of the words. Okay, that can, can, that kind of helps because especially when I look over here at Yelid, what is Yelid? Boy, the one I'm always mixing up with Ben, son. Okay, the boy. That's my boy over there, son. Okay, it's an English thing. Okay, so Lamadta. It, lamata, lamata would be um, you stood because it's second person, it's cow perfect second person, masculine singular. Okay? So you stood in the house, kimu yaled tov. Okay? Kimu is a tough way, or kimo, forgive me, not kimu. Kimo is a tough way of just saying k, as, like. Okay? So, Here's what it is. The boy stood in the house. Oh, wait. Forgive me. Let's just do it this way. Lamadta babayat. You stood in the house like Yelid Tov, a good boy. You stood in the house like a good boy. Just leave it like that. That's the best way to do it. Okay? You stood in the house like a good boy. Okay? Yeshav, Yeshava, Yish, forgive me, Yashva. <laughs> Sorry about that, folks. Yashva um, is, once again, it's Cal, perfect, um, and it is a um, third person feminine singular. Uh, the comet's hey is there. Always got to parse it. The, of course, three constant root is Yeshav, Yod, uh, Shin, uh, ba, uh, Beit. Um, so, yesh, uh, Yashva, 
Bashade. Okay, there we go. We know we've got the definite article in there. So, she set. Yeah, this is one of the, I, 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 just, I just remembered. They had this as though it was she walked. It was that, it was though it was a hal, halka. And it's not, it's ya, yashva. She sat in the field, itzel hanachar, itzel beside, itzel the stream. She sat in the field beside the stream. Scenic. Okay? Here we go. Here we go again. Halak. This is getting old. You're good at it. Halak. How perfect. Third person masculine singular. He walked. There's Belila in the, okay, night. He walked in the night, El Ha'ir. He walked in the night to the city. Right? I told you it's just simple, right? Okay. Amdu. Amdu is a cow. Uh, perfect. And it is the uh, third person, common plural. So it would be they stood ba, ba geshim. Uh, geshim is rain. And of course, we got the gamatot of the bait. And so they stood in the rain, mul hasa'ar. They stood in the rain um, opposite the gate. Could say even beyond the gate, opposite the gate. Yatsa, cow, once again, cow perfect. Third person, feminine singular. Yatsa, she went out. Yatsa is the cow, uh, is the, uh, uh, is the root word, three constant root word. Yatsal Habat, so she went out, the daughter, or yeah, Habat is the daughter. Uh, so we would say the daughter went out from Habayat. The daughter went out from the house. Next. We're doing good on time? Oh, we're doing really good on time. I was going faster on this one than I thought I needed to. Well, you guys might get out of Hebrew class earlier. Who knows? I don't think I can stretch this out. Okay? Unless I can't remember how to translate something. I'm standing here stuck staring at it for a while. But it's just giving us the same words over and again, so this isn't really too challenging. So um, here we go with uh, halcha, which we've had again and again now. It's cal perfect, and it is a uh, third person feminine singular. And halcha ha'isha, which we know is the woman. So the wim the woman walk um, by erif. And remember, there is in the again by erev bin ha it seen. So the woman walked in the evening between or among the trees. Uh, it's it's is the root of this plural form with a definite article. So you've got all of that right, and that would be good on a test. If I just gave you that verse right there on the test, and I said I want you to do is just break that down to me, not verse but sentence. All you would do is you'd simply say that what we have is um, the cow perfect third person masculine, uh, a third person feminine singular of halak. You could say it that way. And then we have haisha, the definite article with woman. Ba'erev, uh, I wouldn't want you just to translate it, I want you to explain it. Ba'erev, is the, the uh, prefix preposition of in the, erev, in the er, erev, which is evening. Bin, no surprises there, just between. And then ha, it seem it is the definite article with the root word etz for trees, plural, in plural form. Ha, it seem. And you made 100%. Okay. Yatsa, cal perfect, third person, masculine, singular. Always easy. Ha'ish, confirming that our, that our parsing was correct. Okay, the man went, went out from, went out. He went out with the im ha'sus. He went out with the horse. 
min ha'ir hazot, a phrase, okay, from this city. So the man went out from, with the horse from the city. That made sense. Somebody's explaining to somebody what happened to the guy. Okay? Amdu, cow perfect form of a mod, and it is the third person, uh, common plural. So they, they Ahmad, they stood, Ha'anashim, the men. So we know who was doing the standing. The men stood, Bagash, uh, Bageshim, they don't have enough sense to get out of the rain. Okay, so the men stood, Bageshim, once again, in the rain. And then they're over here, Mul, we already had this one, didn't we? This is a repeat. Well, it's got a little bit of difference in it. Mul Hasha'ar Hazeh, uh, opposite this this gate. Last one. Last sentence of the last lecture of the last quarter of the first year. Here we go. Amru. Okay. Cal. Perfect. Third person. Common plural of Amar. So they said something. Okay. Amar. They said and so now we know who said Haz, so it's Hazkanim from, with the root Zakan, which is old, the definite article with Zakan, plural. So the men said El Ha'am to the people. Amaru Hazkanim, Amaru Hazkanim El Ha'am. Boy, you guys are getting fluent. So the, 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 the um, Zakim, uh, Hazkanim, ha, haz okay? This should be the old ones said, okay? The Hazakan, ha, Zakanim, uh, Hazkanim, I'll get it right here in a minute. Hazkanim, Amru Hazkanim El Ha'am. The old ones said to the people. Here we got the colon. So we start a new phrase. Salah Adonai. So the yod Hey always represents Adonai, or what we can plainly say, we're comfortable saying because he's our dad, uh, Jehovah or Yehovah. Some people want to say Yahweh. Salah Adonai, Navi, Gadol El, Ha'ir, Hara'a, Hazot. I'll slow down. Okay. Salah, Cal Perfect. Third person masculine singular salak is uh, sent. So Jehovah sent a prof, a great prophet, because it's navi gadol. There's no definite article. Don't mistake this for the definite article, and somebody made a, a pen mistake. That is Jehovah. That is the name of the Lord. Okay, you could say, you could even say. The Lord sent a great prophet to, and now we see a phrase. See that phrase? El ha'ir hara'a hazot. So all you have to know is there's uh, ir, city, ra, ra'a, evil, and then hazot is this. So the Lord sent a great prophet to this wicked city. Okay? The old one said to the people, the Lord sent a great prophet to this wicked city. Love all of you. I'm so glad that you've endured unto this moment. I pray in Jesus' name that Hebrew is not going to be difficult for you over the summer. And I will see you, some of you, uh, the first quarter of next year in September. Love you. Bye.